I went to Newport with its massive sandy beaches and rich archaeological history stretching back to the Stone Age. You used to be able to park your car on the beach and it's always been a popular summer destination and great if you like boats etc. Head down to the Parog where you'll need a membership to get a beer but you can get an Italian takeout from this food truck. Newport is full of hidden gems. Round the side and underneath this community hall is a medieval pottery kiln, the most intact example found in Britain. It's behind some glass and has some of the pottery of the time. Don't go around the back though as you might disturb the yoga classes. Newport has shops, pubs, a pizza place, a post office and an old school butcher's. There's a 12th century castle showing the importance of the town in Norman times. It's now a private residence with people living in it. Newport was a market town in medieval times and still is today. They sell everything, even wool. There's a bookshop that sells all the books and an antique store selling all the antiques. Just down from Lees Medig is a housing estate and a Neolithic structure called Carrig Coiton Arthur, linked, like so many ancient sites in Wales, to the legend of King Arthur. I think it looks a bit like a cow. Just up the road is another megalith, also open to the public, this time with three upright stones. This site in the Priscilla Hills shows the Neolithic people's ability to transport and arrange these huge stones without the use of metal tools. These sites are thought to have been burial chambers or had some cultural or religious importance, but no one knows for sure. They were arranged in the same time period as Stonehenge, whose inner stone circles are made of the same stone from the Priscilla Hills. A short distance from Newport is Cum Ir Egwalice, with its picturesque remains of the pre-Norman church destroyed in a storm around 1850. The design is very similar to the church up the road in Llan Granog, which is still standing. You might have guessed by now I'm not talking about Newport, South Wales, the de facto capital, but Newport in Pembrokeshire, which is in Pembrokeshire. <laughs> 